Think of that division, the Barbados Cadet Corps Medical Unit, the Barbados Cadet Corps Theater Unit, and the Barbados Cadet Corps Band. Great, it's formed up. Ah, it's in three. Ah, you're going to put an order. Where is it? Now making its way onto the parade ground under the command of parade adjutant Captain Marcella Gibson. This is your first opportunity to acknowledge the detachments as they are marched on. This is an Army detachment under the command of Staff Sergeant Mario Crocadio, a member of the number three company to the Commonwealth School. Following is the Guard of Honor, comprising of infantry and sea cadets. The right half of the Guard is under the command of Staff Sergeant Nathan Chapman, a member of the number 17 cadet company and a student of the Samuel Chapman President. Institute of Technology. The left half of the guard is under the command of Master Chief Petty Officer Rosaya Nightingale, a member of the Sea Cadet Division and a student of the Barbados Community College. The final armed detachment to be marched on is the Sea Cadet Detachment. They are under the command of Chief Petty Officer C.H. Farrell. Petty Officer C.H. Farrell is a member of the Sea Cadet Detachment and a student of the Barbados Community College. The parade is accompanied by the Drum Corps of the Barbados Cadet Corps Band, and they are under the command of Drum Major Sergeant Dylan Pitt, a member of the Number 2 Cadet Company, the Law School.
Company Sergeant Major Christian C. Company Sergeant Major Christian Seeley is a 17 year old student of the St. Leonard's Boys School and a former member of the Christchurch Foundation School. He enlisted into the Barbados Cadet Corps at the age of 11 oh, in August the following year. Company Sergeant Major Seeley has completed a number of courses, including the Junior Cadet Instructor Course in 2019 and the Senior Cadet Instructor Course in 2021. He has also completed four-star level courses and is currently pursuing the Mass Cadet Qualification. Some of his most memorable moments include being able to chaperone a group of U.S. Air Force Cadets in March 2023, participating in the 2023 Caribbean Cadet Camp, which was hosted in Jamaica, and most recently passing through the ranks of corporal to company sergeant major. Being in the span in the span of just five months, academically, Mr. Seeley has attained six set passes in English language, English literature, history, biology, geography, and music. He also has passes in communication studies, entrepreneurship, and tourism at the K Unit Level 1. Additionally, Warren of Cecily is an aspiring musician who plans to further his studies at the Barbados Community College, University of the West Indies, along with a future career as an officer in the Barbados Defense Force attached to the Barbados Cadet Corps. Ladies and gentlemen, this afternoon's conducting one officer, one officer class two, Christian C.
The parade adjutant for this evening's parade is Captain Marcella Gibson. She joined the Barbados Defense Force in 1996 as a soldier in the band. In 2004, she joined the officer corps and was attached to the Barbados Cadet Corps. Over the years, Captain Gibson has held post of administrative officer and director of music in the Barbados Cadet Corps Band and second in command at the number 18 company before being assigned as the officer commanding the number 5 company at the Army School. She is well traveled and has represented the Force and Corps and Barbados in Edinburgh, Scotland, London, Canada, and several Caribbean islands. A trained and qualified music teacher assigned to the Grand Adams Memorial School, Captain Gibson is a level four assessor for CB2 and internal ver verifier. She holds a first class honors bachelor degree in arts and entertainment management and is poised to complete her master's in creative arts this semester. Ladies and gentlemen, this evening's parade editor, Captain Marcella Gibson. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, we will now have the promenade by the drum corps. After the sergeants were satisfied that their troops were correct and in good order, they were set off to find their officers, ensuring that they were sober and able to answer the assembly, which the drum corps would, would be well marching through the town. The sergeants guided their officers to their guards before the commanding officer arrived. His aspect, uh, his aspect is reenacted on the parade in the assembly, which was shortly witnessed. Adjutant will now report the state of the parade and hand over to the parade's second in command, Captain Michael Jules.
this year, Captain Michael Jules will have the distinct pleasure of giving 30 years of service to the Barbados Defense Force, having joined the Office of Corps in April 1994. Over those 30 years, he has served in several positions, such as second in command of the number one cadet company, Harrison College, sports officer, several of Sports officer for several officer training courses and summer camps, and spent the past 14 years as a sports coordinator for the Barbados Defense Force Sports Program. Captain Jules was instrumental in all the formation of the first All Girls Cadet Company in the Barbados and perhaps the Caribbean and the world. The number 23 Cadet Company, Springer Memorial School, is currently the officer in charge of the number 11 company and the number 17 cadet company. He currently also now acts as the chairman of the 120th anniversary committee. Captain Jules also served as an officer in charge of the Bravo company in the Turks and Caicos Islands cadet corps from 2006 to 2008. He is a proud recipient of two chief staff commendations and efficiency decoration, humanitarian medal and Caribbean cadet medal. Captain Jules holds a Bachelor of Science degree in Physical Education with a minor in Health Education, a Master of Science degree in Educational Administration. Ladies and gentlemen, the parade second in command, Captain Michael Jules.
Parade's second in command will now hand over the state of parade to the parade commander, Major John Morgan. Mater, the Princess Margaret School, where he was a member of the number 16 company. He enlisted in the officer corps in 1985. He is the only officer presently serving from his course. He is the longest serving officer within the corps, having given some 39 years of unbroken service since his enlistment as an officer. He is a teacher at the Parkinson Memorial School for the last 40 years, where responsibility for coordinating the Caribbean Vocational Qualification Program. Major, the Major is a proud father of three, Jamila, Jadana, and Viandra. He has held almost every appointment in the Corps, from C and OC of the number nine company, Parkinson Memorial School, company commander, training officer, battalion commander, Corps adjutant, camp commandant. He has also performed the role of comm commandant of the Barbados Cadet Corps. On numerous occasions, he is, well, he is presently the officer in charge of the S5 cell of the Barbados Cadet Corps, which deals with policy and planning. He, ladies and gentlemen, the parade commander, Major John Mordor. The 
next phase of the parade will be arrivals. Order! The parade is now set up and awaiting the arrival of the dignitaries. The first dignitaries to arrive are Major Retired Margot Green, Marianne Redman, Angela Lashley, and Patricia Paris. These ladies created history in the Barbados Cadet Corps as they were the first females to join the Barbados Cadet Corps in 1973. Next to arrive are the battalion commanders. The number two battalion commander, Major Philo, Philip Eno, retired. The number three battalion commander, Major Michael Boyce, who is also the principal of the Dayton Griffith Secondary School. The number four battalion commander, Major Len Cummins, a teacher at the Princess Margaret Secondary School and who also serves as the director of music of the Barbados Cadet Corps Band. And number five, Battalion Commander, Lieutenant Commander Robert Morris, who also serves as the commanding officer for the C Cadet Division. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the arrival of today's reviewing officer, Commander David Dorridge, Commandant of the Barbados Cadet Corps. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing until the inspection has commenced. Commander will now report the state of the parade 
to the reviewing officer and invite him to inspect the detachments on parade.
Grid Commander will now seek permission from the reviewing office to carry on with the remainder of the parade. Please be seated. Preparation for the march pass. Dressing in clothes. Dress. Fight. Shoulder. Arms. The armed units will march pass in slow time, followed by the unarmed units who will march pass in quick time only to pay compliments to the reviewing officer. and they are commanded by Captain Junior Ward. Staff Sergeant Mario Crokindio, your left guide is Staff Sergeant Shaquan Boyce, and your supernumeraries are Sergeant Rakaya Shepard and Sergeant Shalissa Curtin. Next on the passing lane is the Guard of Honor. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand as the banner approaches your position. The Guard of Honor is divided into halves, an infantry half, and a secret that half with the right half of the guard passing first. The guard of honor is commanded by Captain Adrian Ward. His double turns are Lieutenant, Lieutenant Dwayne Gamble and Acting Sub-Lieutenant 
are a Ziggy Marshall. The battle party is situated between the right and left half of the guard as they are charged with the responsibility of escorting and protecting the banner. The right half, the right guide for the right half is Staff Sergeant Nathan Chapman. The left guide is Staff Sergeant Ariel Archer and the supernumerary is Sergeant Ariel Harris. The right guide for the left half is Master Chief Petty Officer Rosiah Nightingale. The left guide is Chief Petty Officer Chief, uh, Chief Petty Officer Rosari Irwin. And the supernumerary is Petty Officer Xavier Peterson. The final armed detachment to pay compliments is that of the number two detachment. This detachment is under the command of Acting Sub Lieutenant Franz Von Harris. Their right guide is Chief Petty Officer Sage Farrell. Their left guide is Chief Petty Officer Lemar Clifford. And the supernumeraries are Petty Officer Trisha Harris and Petty Officer Alicia Bowman.
Pakistan as the banner passes you. Now the turn of the unarmed detachment to march past in quick time and pay compliments to the reviewing officer. Armed detachments, stand up! Stand fast, the armed detachments. Unarmed detachments, detachments, shoot! Unarmed detachments will march past in quick time only. The catering unit leading. Move to the right in threes.
and before the top sweat is next for the passing light, this is the Barbados Cadet Corps Medical Unit and is under the command of Second Lieutenant Amaya Robinson Reese. Following is the following is the number five detachment. This is infantry detachment and is under the command of Second Lieutenant Shivani Four. Number six detachment is next. This is an infantry detachment and is under the command of Lieutenant Shane Brand. Second in command, but now advance the unarmed units and hand over the parade to the parade commander.
parade commander will now dress the parade and stand him at ease in preparation for the next phase. Parade commander will now dress the parade and stand him at ease in preparation for the next phase. Captain Alicia Aling, PhD, Stata! Officer Commanding the Number Please. Seven Cadet Company, Frederick Smith's Secondary I School. No invite. Captain Alicia Aling, PhD, Officer Commanding the Number Seven Cadet Company, Frederick Smith's Secondary School, to deliver the invitation. Stata! 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 Share 
in the leadership of this great organization. And they have quite the wisdom in this season to share in the organization of this great organization. Give them wisdom in this season and those to take work organization forward. May all we do in part of the of our village before us. And those who work become proud productive. May all we do in part of the lives of these young as before us. So be the example and the model for the other under our church. May God and protect all the connections be the example and role model for the connections you are in their lives. God and to give you thanks for all you have in the Barbados Connect Corps. In this moment, I acknowledge you daily in their lives. And to give you thanks for all you have in the that allow us to evaluate the things we are known. Be thankful for the vision for the future. Lord, give us courage. That allow us to evaluate the things we are known. And the vision. Lord, may we live a Lord, give us legacy. And that will transform and our nation. us for the journey Thank of your God for Lord, all you have done. Lord, may we live a lasting continue to do in the world of our nation. May we Thank you God for all you have done. And continue to do in the world of our nation. And may we experience your Amen. firm support, gentle love, and constant Amen. mercy. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Captain Jeffrey Wallace, Officer Commanding uh, Number One, Connect Company, Harrison College, will now deliver uh, the welcome remarks. Captain Jeffrey Wallace, Officer Commanding Number One, Connect Company, Harrison College, will now deliver the welcome remarks. Military advisor of the Chief of Staff and Representative Colonel of the Chief of Staff of Barbados. Military advisor to the Chief of Staff and Representative of the Chief of Staff of Barbados. The Chief of Staff of Barbados Defense Commander Mark Peterson, Major Petra Grazer, Commanding Officer Barbados Defense Regiment. Major Alfred Craig Taylor, Commander Cadet Officer, Executive Barbados, Barbados Officer, Regiment Barbados Cadet Corps, Major Alfred Taylor, Other Officers, Cadet of the Barbados Defense Force, Barbados Corps, Cadet Corps, Other Officers, Sergeant Major Defense Force, Barbados Defense Barbados Cadet Corps, Master Chief Petty Officers, Sergeant Major. Austin Barbados Defense Force Regimental Sergeant Major Petty Barbados Class One Warrant Officer Class One Regimental Sergeant Major Barbados Corps Regiment Warrant Officer Officer Barbados Class One Corps Calling Warrant Officer Class Two Corps Wendell Warrant Officer Barbados Special Cadet Invited Warrant Officer Class Two Wendell, Cadet Kelman, and recruits, special ladies, invited and guests, members here of the media, Cadet Good afternoon, and recruits, ladies I and gentlemen, Captain Jeffrey members Wallace of the media, and it is my honor to welcome you all I to this afternoon's proceedings. Wallace. And it we is are my honor at these to welcome you all to witness a glorious proceeding. spectacle. A review we are here and at these beautiful grounds under to witness the a glorious of our spectacle. Command a review David and the large parade as part under of the activities the commands of to our celebrate our the one commander and twentieth anniversary. Of as part of the activities of our to celebrate the 120th building of our nation of through our beloved Barbados 1944. Building our nation the Barbados Cadet Corps generation is the oldest since Cadet Corps in the Caribbean. The Barbados in the Caribbean is the oldest Cadet Corps in the Caribbean. And 
cadet in, 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 in the Caribbean started, started in, in, in Barbados for another cadet in the institution, in the Lord started School. in 1904 at another esteemed institution, the Lord School. Our existence to the vision and perseverance of our founder, Captain Bradley Hall, our existence who was a to the church at the Lord School, perseverance as of well our founder, as a Captain Bradley in the Barbados. Who volunteer was a force at the Lord School in the as 120 well as years years since in the Barbados volunteer Barbados force has grown by the 120 and years and since we now our stand at the Barbados Federal Force has grown by leaps as and well bounds. as specialist and companies we now stand both land 25 and school and companies. Seats as well as specialist companies, both land, band, to and list see. the eminent persons who have passed through the rank and file of the Barbados Cadet Corps to will list take all the year. eminent persons who it have must passed be said through the rank that the and Barbados file Cadet of the Barbados Cadet Corps will take great all year. Leisure. To the leadership must of be the said country that the Barbados Cadet Corps the Barbados has contributed in great force measure with to the leadership that of the country and in particular of staff the Barbados being the product force of our beloved no organization. Than five of the six chiefs of staff being products of our Indeed, beloved our organization. The Red Excellent Robin Brianna Fenty was Indeed, some years ago a recent national hero at the, the Red Excellent Robin Humber School. With this outstanding history and heritage in mind, it is with great pleasure that we, the officers and cadets of the Barbados Cadet Corps, cordially and warmly invite you to this evening's parade and ceremony. We wish you a wonderful time and we do hope that you enjoy yourselves and feel free to express your appreciation when you see the troops on parade. Ladies and gentlemen, cadets, welcome. Thank you, sir. It gives me great pleasure to invite the Commandant of the Barbados Cadet Corps, Commander David Dowrish, to deliver his address. teaching the student rather than the subject. It is in that context that I wish to cover my remarks in that we are here because of the cadets and we must always remember to keep the cadets first. Colonel Carlos Level, Military Advisor to the Chief of Staff, Commander Mark Peterson, Staff Advisor to the Chief of Staff. Major Pedro Drake, Commanding Officer of the Barbados Regiment, other senior officers of the Barbados Defense Force, Force Sergeant Major, Regimental Sergeant Major, 
corps sergeant major, other officers and senior NCOs, cadets, family, friends, members of the media, other distinguished and invited guests. Good afternoon. There's a reason why we have a review of troops or units. It gives the commander an opportunity to see just what his troops can do, what the state is of the assets that are available to him. I look forward next year to seeing all of the cadets on parade. I understand this year we have got a representative group, 389 out of over 1,000 cadets. I recognize that uniform and other logistical challenges have prevented all from being under review. I will use the opportunity during the course of this year to look at every unit with a view to helping them develop. But what is cadetting about? Let me draw on the mission statement of the oldest cadet company in the Caribbean. It reads, the mission of the number two cadet company is to produce young men and women with a high sense of honor, discipline, and duty, with exemplary standards of conduct and behavior, to develop pride and esprit de corps, to involve cadets in activities with force of good character, diligence, and bring out the best qualities of leadership in the service of this school and country. That is the synopsis. That is what we are about. To produce some of the best young men and women in this country and in this region, and I dare say, in the world. I was advised that when I came to speak that my time would be limited. I, it was explained to me that the cadets would be facing the sun and therefore I should speak quickly. To save them the suffering and bothering of the sun in their faces. I asked one young cadet who I understand is from the number two company. But, but why such a short time? He explained, sir. But we can't have the cadet suffering, can we? Then I asked him, but what time is it? And he answered, in number two cadet fashion, time, a continuum that lacks spatial dimensions, is impossible to interact. However, despite the inaccuracies caused by the inner workings of my parametric piece, I can say with some degree of confidence, sir, that the time is 1,400 hours. But with that, now I shall remember that my time here is short and that I shall keep you too long. However, 120 years is not 120 days. 120 years of offering services to develop our young people. Uh, starting with Captain Radcliffe 
over at the Lodge School that developed over the years from one company to three that introduced females in the 1970s that expanded or exploded to 21 companies in the 80s to special units to the first female, full female unit in Spring Memorial last year. 120 years of serious progress. But it could not be done without the leadership and the support of many. And I'm being very careful not to call all names lest I incur the wrath of some. But one cannot discuss the development of the Barbados Cadet Corps over the last 120 years without recognizing the influence of the likes of Captain Radcliffe Hall that started the process, the Major Pope, Silva Hamamir, the Colonel David Maynard, Major Carol Mack, Lieutenant Colonel Ronald Clark, who through, during the 70s and the 80s kept this unit, this program afloat. One cannot help but remember the contributions of a Major Patrick Skeet, the late Major Patrick Skeet. I'd like to take this opportunity, having discussed the issue with the principals, to indicate that in memory of Major Patrick Skeet, it is the intention of the Barbados Cadet Corps to sponsor a national lecture series to be held annually in his name. In addition to Major Ski, one can't forget the contributions of a Lieutenant Colonel Trevor Brown, who battled who battled the system, who battled with passion to bring the cadets from what we can describe as normal cadetting to a different level. All of a sudden things like archery, participating in um, Olympic sports, international challenge camps, were held under his leadership. One must recognize the value that a Colonel Trevor Brown brought to this program during his tenure as Commandant. And with permission from the local authorities, it is our intention in the Barbados Cadet Corps to run every two years an international challenge camp right here in Barbados and we expect that the challenge camp will bear the name of Lieutenant Colonel Trevor Brown. There were others. Others like Commander Carl Farley, Major Mordor, and others who Herald the expansion, who got us from 3 to 21 and eventually to 23. Who supported the expansion of the special units. These officers, supported by their staff, brought us to where we are today. And on your behalf, I would like to extend a warm and hearty and deep felt gratitude to them all.
Regrettably, our Prime Minister, the Honourable Mia Motley, is not present at this grade. She, as Minister of Education, directed that a draft paper be produced back in 1994-95. And Major David Clark, in addition to some staff officers in the Barbados Defense Force, got together and produced what in fact was the framework for the expanded units and the expanded Barbados Cadet Corps. When I did my research, I was advised that the Prime Minister was in fact not a member of the Barbados Cadet Corps, but that she was a guide and spent many a day looking at the cadets. I am sure that you would agree with me that the way she marshals her troops nationally and internationally she could easily be a sergeant major in the Barbados Cadet Corps. I therefore think it would not be inappropriate to find some way to issue her an uh, honorary pay stick or some other emblem of our feeling about her leadership. Let me know. Um, draw on words attributed to the late Martin Luther King. We just celebrated his birthday or his day just recently. I have a dream. Let me also draw on the words of Crazy, the Calypsonian in Trinidad, who said, in time to come because I believe that we must dream or have a vision of the future Cadet Corps. So I have a dream that we will in fact put the Cadets first in everything we do. I have a dream that the Cadet regulations which have been sitting for some while in draft, will be dusted off and promulgated and made into law so that the cadets can be properly governed. I have a dream that those regulations will have directions, rules that will allow the cadets to exercise the discipline and the leadership that cadets want to do. I have a dream that all of those who have got the experience in the development of regulations at military academies in Canada, the United States and England will come and lend their support to the development and the propagation of regulations which will allow cadets to exercise the full cadet experience, leadership, discipline, other activities. I have that one day every cadet who has gone through the process of recruitment, leadership, character development, as part of the cadet program, will be issued a CBQ. I have a dream that cadets will receive the recognition that they deserve. I have a dream that we will have more adults to supervise the activities of the Barbados Cadet Corps. We need to get to the stage to safely run the Cadet Corps 
to manage these activities, they need to get to a point where the ratio between adult supervisors, instructors, etc. is about 1 to 10 at the very least. I am a, a, a proud to advise that the Barbados Defense Force has proposed to make its young officers available. Young officers who traveled overseas or conducted professional officers training, they will now be made available on a voluntary basis to return to their schools and assist with the development of the Cadet Corps at those schools. I have a dream when the Barbados Connect Corps would be adequately funded. I have a dream when we would understand that 300 cadets 20 years ago could operate on, let's say, a nominal fee of a million dollars. If we quadruple that number, it is clear a lot more funding will be available and therefore I invite the authorities to give some thought during the estimates process to increasing the allotment to the Barbados Cadet Corps. I also invite the authorities to maybe consider giving the private sector incentives to contribute to the funding of the Barbados Cadet Corps. And that we may look beyond these shores to grant funding that might be available in international fora so that we may adequately provide for cadets. I have a dream that we will adequately reward the cadets before you. A quick glance would suggest that they appear rather bare chested, having served four, five, six years, good conduct, hard work, national service, and so we seem not to be able to offer them the awards and the rewards that they deserve. I have a dream that national service will become a buzzword in the Barbados Cadet Corps and that every cadet will commit to at least 1,000 hours of structured, supervised national service activities. I have a dream that the assets that are made available, particularly to the sea cadets, the sea island vessels in particular, will find a sponsor to take care of the boats, to ensure that the boats can sail safely and that the cadets can benefit from the resource which were all donated for the cadets to use. I have a dream that there will be a uniform shop so that no cadet will parade in front of the commandant without full uniform. I have a dream that in collaboration with the Barbados Boy Scouts, the Guide, Pathfinder, St. John Ambulance, that we can build a total youth organization to develop the young minds and to contribute to our national development. I have a dream that one day service in the Barbados Cadet Corps the Barbados Boy Scout Girl Guide 
Pathfinders, CLD, and other uniform groups will be compulsory for all young people. I have a dream. That the standard that we talk of when we speak of our business cadets will be shared throughout the length and breadth of this country to reduce the deviancy that we are seeing, to increase the contributions and the development of our young people so that they understand the role that they must play for the country and for their own lives. Lastly, we label our organization as the Barbados Cadet Corps. And maybe for non-military persons, I'll explain that a corps is made up generally of two or more divisions. A division is made up generally of two or more regiments. A regiment is made up generally of two or more battalions. And obviously battalions are made up of two or more companies. If we are a core, it suggests to me that we have more than enough space at the unit level, the battalion level, I would wish to see at a regimental level where we can promote our cadets, our other officers, our sergeants, majors into force so that they can exercise the leadership that they are learning on a daily basis. I would wish to see that a parade commander on a parade like this would be a cadet. I would wish to see the battalion commander of number one battalion to be a cadet, a cadet senior officer or an ensign. I have a dream that in the future we will develop ourselves and our program in such a way that the connects are first in whatever we do. Thank you very much indeed for being here today. Thank you, Cadet, for a wonderful show. Officers for arranging and making sure it worked. I trust you will enjoy the rest of the proceedings and have a wonderful weekend. Barbados Cadet Corps stage a logo and jingle competition amongst cadets. This evening we are pleased to announce the award winners of the logo and jingle competition. We will now have the presentation of awards to those cadets who created the 120th logo and jingle. I now invite Commander David Dowridge, the Commandant of Michelle Williams, a member of the number 16 cadet company and a student of Princess Margaret Secondary School. Thank you. Cadet Michelle Williams. The second award to be presented is to those winners of the jingle competition. These are the members of the number 12 Cadet Company, the St. Leonard's Boys School, and the members of their pop band. These winners are Company Sergeant Major Christian City.
Leading Seaman, Jonathan Dola. And Cadet Joshua Osborne. Thank you. Specially made 120th commemorative baton. The baton will pass from one of the oldest cadets to two of the youngest cadets, and they then on to the commandant of the Barbados Cadet Corps. This evening, we are pleased to have Mr. James E. Bennyburn, who joined the Barbados Cadet Corps in 1948. He joined the Barbados Volunteer Force at the age of 13 when he worked his way up to the highest rank of lieutenant before migrating to the United States. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Wedding Bird, one of the oldest cadets in Barbados. <laughs> Mr. Wedding Bird would pass the baton to the youngest cadets in the Barbados Cadet Corps. A.B. Brandon Wood, a member of the number 15 Cadet Corps and a student of the St. Michael School. And O.S. Neville Lopez, a student of the Commonwealth School and a member of the number 3 company. These cadets will now pass the baton on to Commander David Dorridge, who will declare the 120th anniversary parade open. And the declaration of the 120th anniversary celebration. Thank you. 
Wait off us! Right! Turn! gentlemen we have come to the final phase of the break which is the advance review order and departure of the dignitaries Dignitaries depart.
We invite you to join us for our upcoming events. Saturday, the 3rd of February, 2024, 
our memorial wall dedication. Saturday, the 24th of February, Inter Battalion Quiz. Saturday, the 23rd of March, Anniversary March Crew, Bridgetown. Saturday, the 8th of April, Recruit Pass Out Parade. Saturday, the 13th of April, Inter Battalion Drill Competition. Sunday, the 17th of July, Inter Battalion Triathlon Competition. Saturday, the 24th of August, Anniversary Tattoo. Sunday, the 31st of August, Souls, and Souls Ablaze, the Anniversary Edition. Sunday, the 29th of September, Run Cadet Run. And Saturday, the 7th of December, our Anniversary Concert. We look forward to seeing you there.